Okay, I think we're ready for a little bit of animation. Animation, as you know, is continuous or repeated movement of a visual object. And that's what we're going to try to do to our little turtle over there. But in order to get started, we had to make a few changes to the controls in the last video. In the turn angle, we changed uh, from a maximum of 360 degrees uh, to a maximum of 10 degrees with an increment of 1 starting at 0. Uh, that's where we're only interested in very small angles now. And uh, we changed the step size limits to a maximum of step size of 1 with an increment of 1 one hundredth, also a minimum of 0. Uh, we've also taken the code out of draw me a leg, the, out of the button itself. We've asked the button to execute the procedure draw a leg, and we've had to create that in the code area. So here is the procedure draw a leg, which asks the turtle to move forward uh, by step size and to turn right by a turn angle. And this particular button will actually uh, cause the turtle to execute that command once and to turn it over to, to move it a little bit at a time. Now in order to do animation we need to call this particular procedure the draw a leg over and over and over and over again so that the turtle steps and steps and steps and turns and turns and turns uh, continuously and the way to do that is to create what is called a forever button so let's create one of those we'll create it over here we'll call it the traditional go button and it will that's what we will call it and the command will be draw draw a leg and this button will is very much like the draw a leg button except that first of all it should be a turtle button because it executes turtle commands and most importantly it, we should turn this checkbox forever on which means that the when the button is pressed in it will call draw a leg and when draw a leg is finished it will call it again and again and again forever until we unpress the button so let's watch we now have notice that little symbol down there indicating a forever button and if we press that now the turtle moves now um, it may be moving very very much faster when you first tried like this and you could hardly see it move this is one of the mechanisms this particular slider here is one of the mechanisms that slows down or speeds up the execution of the entire program in NetLogo and is one of the three ways that we can actually slow down or speed up animation slower this way faster this way another way that we can choose to slow down or speed up the animation is to change the size of the step size if we make the turtle step a little bit shorter each time it should actually slow down so let's change the step size move it down you can see it's turning in a tighter circle but it's also moving more slowly because each time the go button executes it moves the turtle a little bit less the third way that we can by the way we're increasing the step size and making this the uh, circle so to speak uh, uh, larger but we're also moving the turtle faster the third way beyond moving this slider back and forth and changing the step size is let's stop it notice that the this is this kind of forever button when you press it once stays pressed in until you press it again the third way we can do that is to actually build in a little bit of a delay after each time the go button fires and executes the draw leg so let's do that and there's a command called wait and you give it a period of time in seconds to wait and net logo all of net logo stops for that period of time make sure that it's a very short period of time and if we make that period of time let's say one one hundredth of a second 
and then we do this. It's now moving. NetLogo is moving as fast as it possibly can. We are actually, we can speed this thing up. And notice if we speed it up more and more, it doesn't go any faster because absolutely it's, it's taking one one hundredth of a second for stopping time after every step. If we make that time larger, let's say five hundredths of a second, then no matter what we do here, it is not going to increase the speed because after every single step the turtle is uh, pausing for five one hundredths or one twentieth of a second. And this is the way we as programmers can actually choose to control the speed of the animation. Now what I'd like you guys to do is to try to duplicate this and play with the step size, play with the slider over here, and play with the wait time to see that they all control the speed of your animation.